Welcome to Neuroscience in 3 Minutes. Today we're going to start this series with one of my own studies that was recently published. Start the clock. In our study, we looked at the effects of transcranial direct current stimulation, or TDCS. TDCS is a non-invasive brain stimulation technique where weak electrical currents are applied to the head. These small currents are thought to just slightly change brain activity and therefore can have an impact on our behavior. If you'd like to know more about how TDCS works, check out our introductory video. Anyway, over the last 15 years, research has been done to see if TDCS can improve working memory, which is very important for a variety of cognitive activities. Over the years, various positive effects have been reported, but there is also a decent amount of studies that finds no or even negative effects. So why are these effects so different? Well, this is due to individual variability and experimental variability. Individual variability refers to the fact that all of our brains are slightly different. So generally, a brain may be more or less susceptible to TDCS. Experimental variability refers to the fact that different studies use different setups. So although different studies may all attempt to target the prefrontal cortex, where exactly the TDCS electrodes are placed and what intensity is used differs from experiment to experiment. The cool thing is that nowadays we can use computational models to realistically simulate how TDCS-induced electrical fields affect the brain. So we can see which exact areas are hit by one TDCS setup and which are hit by another TDCS setup. In our study, we looked at the results of peer-reviewed TDCS studies that attempted to improve working memory. We identified the exact TDCS setup, materials and intensities that were used and computationally modeled the effects on the brain of 87 experiments. So for each experiment we figured out what exact brain areas were targeted. Then for all these experiments we looked at the behavioral effects. Did TDCS improve working memory? Did it have no effect? Or was there even a negative effect? So eventually we ended up with 87 computational models and 87 behavioral effects. Then for each area in the brain model we correlated the electric field strength and the behavioral effects. By this, we ended up with an overview of where TDCS-induced electrical fields most strongly relate to improved working memory. And the results were that TDCS targeting the lower dorsolateral prefrontal cortex and the upper inferior frontal cortex most likely improve working memory. So what can we conclude from these findings? Well, one conclusion is that TDCS indeed can improve working memory, but that we need to target the right spot. It is thus very important for the future that we try to minimize experimental variability. But of course, there is still the individual variability. So there is certainly no guarantee that TDCS works for everyone. And more research is needed to deal with this particular problem. Stop the clock! That's it! So we hope you enjoyed our 3 minute breakdown of this study. And if you did, why don't you just leave a cheeky like? Anyway, we hope to see you the next time.